Hello everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook for the week. Gaurang Shah here from Judith Financial Services and as I speak to all of you all this Monday morning at around about 11.30, markets have recovered from the initial lows that we saw. Of course, last week uh, we had six straight trading sessions of sell-off and then a recovery on Friday. Uh, this morning when we got back to the trades, uh, markets uh, opened up flat, went down. But as I speak to all of you all, uh, both the index that is Sensex and NFT is trading in green and uh, there is a slight bit of uh, double digit uh, lows as far as Nifty Bank is concerned. To give you certain levels uh, on the Sensex, Nifty, Nifty Bank, Rupee, Dollar and uh, Crude Oil, uh, Sensex is up about 170 points trading at 63,960. Uh, Nifty is up about 45 points, 19,090 is the level on Nifty spot. Uh, Nifty Bank down 22 points, 42,760 is the level on Nifty Bank. And on the rupee dollar equation, uh, well, uh, rupee is slightly marginally weak. Uh, level is 83.25 rupees to one dollar. And uh, NYMEX and Brent, Brent uh, first of all, uh, both are down in fact but uh, not at a comfort zone. Uh, Brent is at about $89.25 per barrel and NYMEX is trading at about $84.35 a barrel. Uh, has been a downtick uh, last week and even this morning crude oil is marginally down but you know, comfort zone will be if it slips towards $80 barrel and maybe a little bit below that. Uh, but remains to be seen what the situation and circumstances arise out of the current ongoing geopolitical unrest in the Middle East between Israel, Hamas and of course news flows uh, as to which country wants to get involved in this particular unfortunate geopolitical situation that has come up on from 7th of October onwards. So markets will possibly you know react as we spoke last week. Uh, the sell-off last week was on two accounts. Of course, we had the FNO expiry and along with that, shorts were getting opened up. And the sell-side figure from the foreign institutional investors uh, led the markets. The low that we saw last week on the Nifty spot was somewhere around uh, 18,850, 18,860. And just to refresh the memories, uh, you know, we discussed about 19,200-300 uh, level that was uh, held out for the entire month of August because that was the low, a lower range and the higher range was 19,400-19,500. Uh, but this level was decisively broken last week and a very crucial level was tested which was 18,850-18,860. Why this becomes crucial, this lower level that we saw last week on Friday on Nifty Spot? Because this is exactly the level uh, where the market was finding it difficult to move above 18,800, 18,600. In the month of June, if you go to see friends, uh, there were many times where we were in this bracket again of 18,600 and 18,800 on the higher side. Well, the significance of this level not being broken can possibly make us believe that possibly the worst is over in terms of sell side pressure or shorts getting created. News flows will possibly give direction to the market and possibly whether we are going to see further lows from here. But given the data points, I think uh, we can possibly assume that 18,600 to 18,800 could be a level which will again the bears may find it difficult or the selling pressure may find it difficult to take it off convincingly <laughs> if these levels get broken then of course much lower levels get opened up but given the data points that we've had uh, and of course uh, the recovery that we are seeing in the markets with a little bit of buying coming in let's hope that this level of 18,800 18,600 holds out having said that uh, we have always mentioned that, uh, you know, these kind of corrections are great opportunity. But before we go to the stock investment ideas fundamentally from a long term point of view, let me give you the Q2 earnings. Uh, we 
are in the middle of Q2 earning season, then whatever we've seen up till now, we believe that there is no huge negative. That's one positive that we can take. And whatever remains to be seen, let's hope that uh, we have a better picture, a better story to tell. Assuming that Q2 earnings will possibly in line with whatever we've seen up till now, and anticipating that third and fourth quarter could be relatively better, I guess uh, this should uh, bring in a little bit of positivity in the market. But markets are vulnerable to the news flow locally, globally, so we'll have to react accordingly. Uh, investment ideas from a long-term point of view, as we always share with uh, you all every week, two of them. First one is, and given the opportunity, friend, I think uh, our sense and the markets are that possibly this recovery will reflect upon the large cap first, then select mid cap sectorially. Small cap may be under pressure given the earnings disappointment or maybe sell side pressure. So one is to be extremely careful in what you're buying, especially in the small cap universe or micros uh, cap universe is concerned. But large and mid cap, I think there are a lot of investment ideas. And this correction that we've seen friends makes us believe that these are the opportunities to create a portfolio. So there are two investment ideas. One is uh, private sector, one of the uh, larger private sector banks in the news uh, some time back is Kotak Mahindra Bank. What price correction we've seen, we believe it's a great opportunity. And the second one is uh, Pinilite Industries from specialty chemical sector. Both these are investment ideas from a long-term point of view. You need to have longish time horizon. And uh, don't jump into it. Stagger your investments as and when markets give you opportunity. Try to limit it to both these stocks. We'll see you again next week. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.